As part of the Cisco Express networking certification, you will be required to have a fundamental understanding of Cisco Meraki licensing, support, and warranty. In this video, we will discuss how licensing works, how to interact with support for technical assistance, and what to do in case of faulty hardware. Let's get started. It is very important to understand that every Cloud Managed Meraki device requires a license in order to work properly, in a one-to-one -one ratio. For example, if you have 20 access points as part of a dashboard organization, you will require 20 licenses. Licenses are available for the duration of 1, 3, 5, 7 or 10 years and cover all the cloud-based services that allow devices to operate, be centrally managed and collect analytics and metadata about the networks. Licensing also includes unlimited firmware updates, which are automatically scheduled and downloaded seamlessly to your devices. Thanks to the cloud nature of the products, also ensures the security of your network through continuous security patches and updates. Lastly, 24-7 enterprise support is also included together with a lifetime hardware warranty. What licensing really represent is therefore the total cost of ownership of your Meraki devices, meaning that all the related costs of running, maintaining and updating your network are covered. The core message of Cisco Meraki is to simplify IT and this includes licensing. You may know that when scaling a network, keeping track of licensing termination dates for each individual product can be complicated and an administrative overhead. That is why we introduced the concept of co-termination. What co-termination means is that all license keys added to the same pool, which is a dashboard organization, are averaged based on their value, that is the price, and the remaining days. This ensures that you will always have a single, easy-to-track date for all your Meraki devices. Let me give you a simple example. Suppose an organization had two separate enterprise access point licenses. One license is for one access point spanning one year and another for one access point spanning three years. The co-termination value would be calculated as one year plus three years divided by 2, which equals 2 years. If you want to experiment co-termination by yourself and better understand how it works with real practical examples, you can access the link you see at the bottom of this page, where you can easily calculate how adding or removing a license key affects an organization's co-termination date. Information about the licensing status of, for an organization can be found in Dashboard on the License Info page under the Organization tab. Here, you will be able to verify the license status, the licensing expiration date, the current device count and the current license limit, and the historical list of licenses that have been applied to the organization. Depending on the status, you will either see a green OK message or a bright red license required warning. There are two conditions that can cause such warning to appear. One, your current device count exceeds the current license count. For example, you have five access points in use in your organization, but you're only licensed for three of them. Two, the expiration date has passed meaning your organization requires a renewal. From the date you receive a warning, you will enter a 30-day grace period. During this time, you will be required to resolve the situation in order to return to compliance. This can be done by either purchasing any missing license, in case your current device count exceeds the license limit, or obtaining a license key to renew your organization as a whole in case your organization has expired. Once obtained, you can add the license key 
by clicking Add another license in the License Info section. You will then have two actions or operations to choose from. License more devices, which increases the number of devices that can exist within the Cisco Meraki dashboard organization, or renew my dashboard license, which extends the licensing period of the Meraki organization. You must renew the license for all devices in your organization. We do not support partial renewals, meaning you cannot renew licenses for only certain devices within the organization. Please note that if no action has been taken after the 30 days grace period, your organization will be shut down. However, no configuration or analytics will be lost, but a new message will appear on dashboard inviting you to contact Meraki Sales for further assistance. Meraki Sales will be happy to assist you for a prompt resolution so that you can immediately reactivate your account and your network will be up and running again. Let's have a look at some of the most common questions in regards to licensing. Does every Meraki device require a license in order to operate and be managed? The answer is yes, you will require a license for each Meraki product in a one-to-one -one ratio. Are there different types of licenses? To keep things simple, there is only one type of license addition for most Cisco Meraki products. MS switches, MR access points, MC phones and V security cameras. The only exception is the MX Security Appliance, which has two license editions, Enterprise and Advanced Security. Advanced Security gives you extra features, including, but not limited to, cloud-based content filtering, intrusion detection and prevention, as well as malware scanning. What happens to my devices in the unlikely and unfortunate case that a license runs out and no action has been taken to return to compliance? Should my license and the 30-day grace period expire, you will no longer be able to cloud manage your Meraki devices. This means that any configuration change will not be allowed and the devices will also cease to pass traffic. In the case of an SM network, it will not be possible to enroll any new device or change any setting for the currently enrolled ones. Are we going to let you know if your organization expiration date is approaching? Yes, first, any administrator listed for the organization will receive an email 30 days before the expiry date. Closer to that date, three days before, we will send you a reminder. A banner? will be shown in dashboard at all times as soon as you enter the grace period. Let's talk about our enterprise support service. Our technical support team operates in the so-called follow the sun model. It provides global customer service from three locations. San Francisco in the United States, London in the United Kingdom, and Sydney, Australia. This guarantees 24-7, 365 days a year support coverage, increasing responsiveness and reducing delays. Whenever you require assistance, you can open a case by phone, calling our localized phone numbers. This is the recommended procedure for emergency support. Please do call us and a qualified network engineer will be always ready to help you. Alternatively, for non-urgent matters and general queries about products and features, you can open a case by emailing support at and we will respond to you within one business day, although usually you will get a response within two hours. Another convenient way to open a case is through dashboard itself, by going to the Help section and clicking on the Get Help option. You can then grant support access to dashboard for fast troubleshooting. Remember that the more detailed your problem description is, the faster the resolution of the problem will be. 
Through the same help menu in dashboard, you can then click on cases where you can manage, update or audit your open and closed cases. Each case can be assigned a priority level from 1 to 4 and it is classified as major, moderate, minor, general question depending on the impact or the fault or issue that you are experiencing. Support acknowledgement will depend on the priority specified at the time the case has been opened. Should it be required, support can escalate to the engineering team or developers for further assistance if something needs to be changed in the backend or new firmware is required. We have labs in all locations where we can easily recreate your network setup and recreate the issue in-house for better troubleshooting. Please do remember that for emergency situations, we encourage you to call us. An example scenario for when to contact Cisco Meraki technical support is to request a replacement of failed hardware. Cisco Meraki stands behind its products. This is why licensing includes a lifetime warranty. However, it is important to understand that for any RMA to be processed, you will need to first, open a support case, either via phone or email or from the help section in dashboard. Second, proper troubleshooting needs to be performed. Support will assist you in this process. You will be asked to perform troubleshooting steps depending on the nature of the specific issue. This is in the interest of all parties to ensure that there is indeed a need for a replacement. Many times we found that symptoms that appear to reflect a failure can often be explained and resolved by troubleshooting. If you require an advanced replacement, devices will be shipped from our distribution centers within one business day. This means you can receive the new device even before you send us back the faulty one to ensure your network is always up and running with downtime reduced to a minimum. For regular re warranty returns, we will send you prepaid shipping labels for you to return the faulty hardware to us free of charge. Please use the original shipping carton and packaging material. If this is not possible, use another shipping carton with padding to protect the units from damage during shipping. Once you have received the replacement device, you can easily claim it into your dashboard organization from the inventory section. Since licensing is not linked to serial numbers, there is nothing to worry about obtaining any new license key. If you ever get stuck in dashboard, even before contacting our enterprise support line, we have a wealth of resources online with comprehensive knowledge base articles easily accessible through the help section in dashboard or by going to documentation.meraki.com. Here you can find information such as how to get started installing and configuring a product, guidelines and help on how to configure your first network, detailed documentation that explain how the most advanced features work, time-saving troubleshooting tips, suggestions and recommendations on how to successfully design, implement, monitor and optimize your network infrastructure. In this video, we discussed how every Meraki device needs a license in order to operate, how to contact the support team and the requirements for warranty returns and advanced replacements. This concludes the licensing, support and warranty section.